Android 15 on a device from 2019, which only officially went up to Android 12. Not bad. To make things interesting, while much of the install process is the same across the 7 series, there are some differences which I'll highlight, so keep an eye out. Unfortunately, if you have a plain 7 or a 70 Pro McLaren, your adventure ends here as neither is sufficiently supported. They've only the 7 Pro, 70 and 70 Pro getting upgrades. Jumping right in, as always, the first thing we want to do is ensure your PC has ADB and fastboot. If it doesn't, check out the links in the description. Then we want to get our prep out the way, making sure our device is on Oxygen OS 12, then downloading all the required files, which I keep in the platform tools folder for simplicity. For the 7T and 7T Pro, we want the three image files found under recovery. Those are DTBO, VB Meta, and Recovery. Easy to find for the Pro model, but you'll have to jump around folders for the 7T. For the 7 Pro, we instead want to click Firmware to download the firmware flasher. For all devices, we want to click Download Latest Version to get the actual ROM and then the latest version of GApps if you want Google Apps installed. With that, we can now unlock the bootloader. A reminder that this will clear all your data, so make sure everything is already backed up if it's important. On our device, we want to ensure that USB debugging and OEM unlock are enabled in the developer options. Connect via USB and select File Transfer when it pops up. Then we open the Platform Tools folder and type CMD into the folder path to launch the command window. Then type ADB Reboot Bootloader to reboot our device into fastboot mode. I always tend to then type fastboot devices just to confirm the connection. If an error appears here, it's usually a driver issue. Then we type fastboot OEM unlock and complete the prompts on the phone. Once the restart has completed, the bootloader will be unlocked. As this has wiped the device, we have to quickly run through the initial setup again, then ensure USB debugging is enabled to continue. Back in our command window, we want to jump into Fastboot again with ADB Reboot Bootloader. This is where things deviate a bit and always make sure to double check the process on the CR Droid install page for the most accurate and up-to-date information for your device. For the 7T and 7T Pro, in our command window, we want to type fastboot flash DTBO, then a space, then drag the DTBO image from the platform tools folder into the command window. Then click the command window to highlight it and press enter. Then the VB meta file with fastboot flash VB Meta, then drag the VB Meta image, same as before. For the 7T Pro, we want to flash the final recovery file with Fastboot Flash Recovery, then drag the recovery image, then hit enter. For the 7T Standard, we instead flash the final recovery file to both sides with Fastboot Flash Recovery underscore A. Then drag the recovery image and press enter. Then the same thing except typing fastboot flash recovery underscore B. Then we want to reboot into recovery by selecting it on the device. For the 7 Pro, it's a bit easier as there's a firmware flasher tool supplied which runs through a similar process to what we did with the T variants. 
Don't have a 7 Pro to show it being applied, but the tool is fairly self-explanatory. Extract the firmware flash zip, and while the device is in fastboot mode, double click on the update firmware.bat file. Windows might try to prevent this being run, but if you're worried, you can always right click and edit the file to see what it's doing. Basically, it's running through similar fastboot flash commands we just did manually on the T variant, but a bit more complicated. So just follow the prompts, which will include action on your 7 Pro as well. This should automatically reboot into recovery, but if it hasn't, just perform this on the device. Once we're in recovery, we want to tap factory reset, then format data, factory reset. This removes the device encryption, deletes all files and formats the cache partition if it's available. Then we want to go back into the main page and then apply update, then apply from ADB. Now it's time to sideload our ROM. This is done with the command ADB sideload, then dragging the ROM file into the window, then hitting enter. The process might get stuck at 47%, but this is as good as 100 in our case. Check the installation page for any other errors if you're worried as quite a few are just fine. If you want to install Google Apps or Magisk here, be aware these need to be done before booting into CR Droid for the first time. For Google Apps, we follow the same sideloading process by hitting apply update, then apply from ADB, then typing ADB sideload and dragging the Google Apps file into the window and hitting enter. This is again repeated if you want to install Magisk, but I haven't here. Now we reboot into our system and into our shiny new ROM with Android 15.